Good early morning, my beauties, from Disney's Animal Kingdom. First observation, coming at you in 60 frames today. I'll explain later on. I say early morning in serious terms because it is gone 6.39 a.m. So yeah, as you can imagine, we are here for a nice little rope drop. Now, I have not rope dropped Animal Kingdom in almost three years. I've been trying to remember for the past 12 hours now when the last time it was that I rope dropped Animal Kingdom. I think it was 2019 when my dad and I came for the AP preview of Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, I think that's when it was. But as you can see, all the guests, including myself, are swarming in. So let's waste no time. I got a lot planned. I have my entire day mapped out up to 6.45. I'll get to that later on. So let's just get this day started. All right, so right here is our sign letting us know about the early entry for guests of participating hotels. So for a regular 7.30 rope drop, we are going to head this way. It honestly feels so weird being awake this early for a Disney park. I think the last time I rope dropped any Disney park was Hollywood Studios. Yeah, when I moved down here in 2019 after Rise opened. Oh my gosh. Now don't get me wrong, that was a fun time, okay? <laughs> Getting up at like 2, 3 a.m. to do, it was like a 6, 6.30 a.m. rope drop for Hollywood Studios. That was a fun time. So this right here looks to be our rope. So yeah. It's just myself and a few others here. So up there is our early entry guess. It's kind of scary. 20 minutes later. Oh, here we go! See, right here is a prime example of why I love living here and being able to come whenever I want. Because I'm not really in any kind of rush to get over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Waking up to the tree of life. That, that hits different. How many times do these cast members say, walk, don't run? See, even at Rope Drop, I feel like cast members should just escort all the guests to Pandora. You know what, clearly I need to rope drop Animal Kingdom more often if I want to get such amazing views like these. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're gonna do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the Avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. Help us out and move around a bit. Sheesh. Almost. Sheesh. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. <laughs> all right, you've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And, uh, and I'll see you in there. Great, you've all made it. Uh, it's important that you can all see me, so move a little if you can't. Before we send you to the link chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. To the Navi, connecting to an Ikron and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. 
Once the link takes place, you'll be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. It'll feel like you're really there. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of this flight might be intense, but trust your guide and be brave. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. Check this out. Okay, so if you don't know, May 27th will be the five year anniversary of Pandora. So because of that, it looks like they're releasing some exclusive merchandise. So this is the pass order shirt. Do they have it in my size? Of course they don't. Of course they don't. And this one looks to be the regular shirt, but I don't think this, oh wait, there's one more. There's one more in my size, but the thing is I'm not the biggest fan of orange. If they had this shirt in my size, and I also like the fabric more than this one, I'll come back. So my plan is to basically start here in Pandora, then work our way counterclockwise around Animal Kingdom. Hey, 
The lighting sucks. You can't even see my face, let me see. No, again, another reason why I need to get a new lens, but haven't even been here for, no, I have been here for two plus hours, but I need to put my hat on because um, this guy does not like messy hair, and when his hair gets messy, we have to put a hat on. All right, before I head over to Dino Land and Expedition Everest, I need to get a bottle of water because my throat is getting quite dry and I do not feel like screaming on any roller coasters with a dry throat. Let's go take a look at the turning red section, see if there's anything new in I already see some new things. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the cutest. Honestly, I never use mugs. I would buy this only because it's a Mei Mei Panda mug. That is adorable. Also, the kawaii eyes. That's all I can think about when I think of turning red is the kawaii eyes. Let's see, there's the magic band, which yes, I am rocking yet again. This looks to be a bowl set, I think. Oh wow, those are relatively heavy. For $30, you can get some pretty cute bowls, actually. I probably never use them, though. Here are some figure sets. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Abby. Oh, she's my favorite side character. Let's head into Discovery Trading and the Riverside Depot. Hopefully they have some water in here. Oh, okay, so they've updated the graphics on some of these candy bags. <laughs> I, I love these actually. <laughs> I love Goofy's expression on the sour ball bag. We're gonna get some smart water because I hate the soggy water. The worst water in the world. But also the placebo effect is that smart water makes you smart. Got our smart water. I mean, again, not the worst water, but I'm just hoping this water will make me smarter by the end of the day. Also, it's no day at Animal Kingdom without checking on the lemurs. Are they out? <gasps> oh my gosh. Ah, they're so cute. Oh, I just want to hold one. Honestly, like Disney, can we make this happen? Can I just please hold one of your lemurs? Like I would be the happiest camper if you would let me hold either one of your lemurs or your meerkats. Stay right there. The only thing that could get me excited about coming in here is dinosaur and the meet and greets. And we know one of those is for sure here. So right in here again with the terrible lighting is Launchpad's meet and greet. I've met him in here a couple times. I'll throw in some clips if I have them. So yeah, he's not back yet. Right up here is where you would actually meet Donald himself. Now it's still a pin trading station. I don't really know when he's gonna be back over here. Then in here is where you would meet Daisy. But again, she's not back yet. Now another valid reason for there not being that many meet and greets just yet is because Disney is still on the hunt for new character attendants. Like it's actually, ugh. It's, it's, it's difficult, it is, that's all I'm gonna say. Joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? The Styracosaurus. That is called cannibalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Evasive maneuver! Left! Right! Left! Right! That was close! Computer, never left! Carnotaurus. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Oh wow. There you are. 
Thank you, love. You're very welcome. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> that is the cutest cupcake I've ever seen. All right, let's go get our drink that he drank on. Watch the pro. Yeah, a little too much ice. Not really a pro at that then. Perfect. Hey, look, they got the good barbecue sauce. Hope I got that one in frame. Mm -hmm. So good. So to start, we have Walt's Main Street Fried Chicken Sandwich. So this is going to be a crispy fried chicken breast on a warm brioche bun, finished with pickles, lettuce, tomato, and roasted garlic aioli, served with, of course, the French fries. Good fries, good fries. Now, I actually requested that they not put the garlic aioli on mine because, yeah, I know that stuff is just gonna cause a huge mess and I don't really want that right now. Honestly, it just, it looks like a chicken patty that you would get at school. That's pretty good though. Seasoning's kind of interesting, but other than that, it's good. I am so excited about this dessert. All right, so we got the Turning Red Cupcake, which is a vanilla cupcake, pineapple compote filling, pineapple buttercream bao bun with dark chocolate chopsticks, sweet magnolia blossom, and a white chocolate medallion. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. I mean, just looking at this thing, it is not only adorable, but it is a lot. Like, what do I start with? Like, do I start, like, I can't even, like, <laughs> Out. I'm just gonna like hold the camera right there for a hot second. Okay. That's good. It's just a piece of white chocolate, but it's good. You see, I'm the type of guy who likes to dissect my cupcakes, so we'll try some of the uh, chopsticks next, maybe. Okay, there's one. Mm. Those are good. So yeah, literally just a vanilla cupcake. Let's see, can I take that off? Okay. That doesn't look too bad. I mean, I know the lighting isn't the best, but that actually looks pretty good. But oh no, the thick frosting. Oh no. You know what? I don't care. It's the thick sugary filling frosting, but it's turning red, so naturally I have to. It's really a bao bun shaped blob of icing. Like, that is disgusting. Okay, maybe I should try a piece of the actual cake before I give up on all this frosting. Actually, it looks pretty good. That tastes more like, like gingerbread slash snickerdoodle than anything. Yeah, that is not vanilla cake. Unless they're raw vanilla cake and have to substitute with something else. It's not bad. Even though that was a piece of frosting that I ate, that was not vanilla cake. Like, look at this. This is all frosting. Oh my gosh. So all I want to eat is the cupcake, okay? All right, I'm gonna speak freely for a second when I say I did not enjoy that meal. Let's start off with the chicken sandwich. It was decent, but it literally looked and tasted just like a chicken patty that you would get at school. But also, like the first bite tasted kind of, I'm not gonna say weird, but just interesting. So that, I'll probably give like maybe a five out of 10. And then the cupcake. Now, I wanna talk more about the cupcake only because it's turning red, and y'all know how much I love turning red. First off, it's getting a five out of 10 as well. Now, the appearance, the cupcake itself, like the look of the cupcake was amazing okay that was the cutest cupcake I've ever seen on Disney property but the taste the description said it was a vanilla cupcake it was not it was more gingerbread than anything so all in all in terms of that meal I'll give it like maybe five six out of ten total yeah if you want anything from Marshallonosaurus anything but the chicken sandwich Okay, before I go any further, I am going to say right now, I don't even remember the last time I went on Everest. Maybe when I moved down here, but I don't think. So for all I know, it might have been over a year since the last time I went on it.
Oh golly, oh gosh. Track's been torn up. Whatever are we going to do? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so glad I went on that. And I got the front row too. Oh dang. Are these for men or for women? I would say yes. I like these. I like these a lot. How much are they? 60 bucks. Oh my gosh, I can't afford that. Of course I'm lying when I say that, but because I'm so used to getting like Gymshark shorts, yeah, I do not want to pay $60 for any pair of shorts whatsoever. And then pair that with this jacket, which this is probably like $80. <laughs> yeah, maybe add $20 more. But oh my gosh, just these shorts, these shorts. Oh, I'm so tempted to buy these. Like, it's, it's, it's bad. Like, I want these. I want these. A few inches later. I love how they're all just chilling. All right, with me little baby, with me little baby. Don't tell them the meerkats aren't out. Oh wait, there's one, there's one. All the way in the back, you can kind of see it. Well, there might not have been a lot, but at least I got to see one little meerkat. And this is usually the busiest area. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> wow, last time I saw Kevin was, yeah, over two. Oh my god. I know two years doesn't seem like a long time, but in Disney terms, oh my gosh, it feels more like 20 years. <laughs> You know what, I may only have three hours until my dinner, but hey, treat yourself. Oh dang. Yeah, quite a big boy. <laughs> Y'all should already know about my love for the Night Blossom, so no introduction is needed. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good, it's so refreshing. And hopefully this will keep me decently full through to dinner. But also, let's uh, talk about this ginormous pretzel. Like, gee whiz. Like, it's a good pretzel. I've had it before. If you have anyone to share this with, please do that. One hour later. You know what? Yes, we will go on Expedition Everest again. Oh, they might have just recovered from an east stop because it dropped to 20 minutes. Oh man, this could be good. This could be good. Ah, what the heck. I wanted to do that so bad earlier, but I was like, oh man, but if I do it, then all the kids are gonna wanna do it. Gee, 
yo boy, it looks like even Kilimanjaro Safaris dropped their wait time. I think last time I checked it was like 55 minutes? So going from 55 to 20 minutes. That was the same with Everest. What is going on? After however many hours of waiting, we can finally, finally check in for dinner, because I'm starving. We have this for souvenir, we didn't have it before. Alrighty. Alrighty, thank you very much. I haven't done a character dining experience in over two years. I haven't been to Tusker House in, I don't know, three to five years it's been, I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's Mickey over there. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, look who it is, it's the boss man himself. So you know I had to come see you on my day off. Oh, I missed you, bud. See, look, look, you're even on camera. See yourself right there in the magic mirror? <laughs> He just booped y'all in the nose. You wanna get in the thumbnail for today? So to start, we have our bread service, our salad. So it's just assorted house-made breads. We got whatever bread it is served with hummus, coriander, and mango chutneys. Now, you know I love mango. If you know me personally, you'll know I love mango. So I'm excited about that. Then for the salad, I guess it's just like a spring mix with kachamari and Arcadian green salad with citrus vinaigrette dressing. I'm excited. You know what? I am going to be fancy and put some on a plate because, you know, even though I'm by myself, and could just eat straight from the bowl. Why should I? Why should I? Let's get our fork. I don't even know if the dressing is already on it. I don't think it is. Also okay. something tough. And no, dressing's not on it. Okay, so this is our dressing. Yeah, so you can kind of see it in there. Not very much. There's a lot of onions though. But you know what? We will throw some salt on it, is it? It's decently fast running. Man needs to replenish his electrolytes, so winning, I guess. Now let's actually get a bite. Hopefully we can get some of the dressing. No promises. Ooh. Ooh, I like that dressing. But I'm also tasting a lot of salt. I'm so disgusting. Let's pull this pretty decent looking bread over. So, oh yes, we have the rolls now. I'm more curious about this. Like, I don't even know what you would call this. Oh, it's quite brittle. Well, we've already broke a piece off, so we pretty much have to try it now. That's good. Okay, so I don't even know what to try first. Let's try this green stuff. I forget what this is. I mean, it's oily. That's interesting. It's interesting. It's quite salty. Well, hello, Miss Daisy. How are you? It's been over two years since I last saw you. I know, it's been a while. Missed you so much, my love. <laughs> Alright, so one thing I do remember about Tusker House. The bread rolls, the bread rolls. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So much more salty than sweet. I like that. So, let's talk about the entree for a second. So, we have Moroccan spiced beef, Cape Malay green curry shrimp, spit roasted, it sounds interesting, spit roasted, <laughs> herb chicken, and Berbere marinated pork. I hope I'm pronouncing that. Yeah, and then our sides are gonna be green beans with carrots and corn, roasted potatoes, jasmine rice, house made mac and cheese now. Table service mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese on Disney property. And there is an impossible Durban curry choice, but you have to um, request that, okay? It's not gonna come standard, that has to be requested. But even then, that actually sounds pretty good. Now, let me tell y'all, in terms of portions, uh, yeah, the, these guys are not messing around when it comes to portions. Um, every other family style restaurant I've been to just by myself, they kind of half it, if you will. I think here, these guys are just like, screw it, <laughs> screw it. We'll give them all we can, and we just, we'll just pray he finishes it all. I wanna go for the beef. I wanna go for the beef. The beef looks fantastic. Like, look at that. 
That's pretty good. Not a whole lot of seasoning to it, but I'm assuming that's why the sauce. Is there, I'm pretty sure this is the same stuff served with the uh, bread service. Alrighty, mate. Let's get a piece of that pork. Oh golly, oh gosh. This is an immaculate dinner. This pork is good. This I'm pretty sure this is the pork. Oh my gosh, Donald's over there. I love Donald. And if you didn't know, Donald and Goofy are going to be going on more adventures with Sora because Kingdom Hearts 4 was just announced like a week and a half ago. I should have talked about this right after it was announced because if you know me, you know I love the Kingdom Hearts series. Yeah, so that's something to look forward to. Well, look who it is, Mr. Donald Duck himself. It's been so long. It really has. It's been two years. Can we have a hug? Aww. I miss you, buddy. But look, I think think even all my friends out there in the interwebs missed you too. <laughs> Can I get in the thumbnail real quick? Let's get another piece of the pork, but this sauce right here that the servers have informed me about is amazing. It's sweet, herby, and spicy. It's so good. I need to quit dilly dallying. I need to start eating this mac and cheese. Last time I remember, Tusker House has my favorite mac and cheese. Still my favorite. Not as salty as I remember. Still mac and cheese regardless. Well look, it's the tall man himself. How are you, Goofy? Good to see you. You know what time it is. It's hugging time. <laughs> Feel, see ya. I mean, I'm, eh. Kind of. You're, you're still taller than me, but that's all right. Yeah, I know. So, look, all my friends wanted to say hi. Well, they'll, they'll see you soon, all right? <laughs> Wait, I, I gotta cover my eyes. <laughs> okay, these desserts look a little bit more manageable than that uh, May May cupcake. I mean, there's this cupcake. Now this actually looks like a vanilla cupcake. And the frosting, I can tell, yep, it's light. It's light frosting, happy about that. Um, it's just, like, it's a lot of dessert, but at the same time, portion-wise, it's manageable. So, I say we start with the brownie in the middle, because that looks the most intriguing to me. If I can get the chocolate paste, ah! ah. See, look, it's like a chocolate tree of life. That's really cool, actually. Is that what the tree of life is supposed to taste like? Because that tastes fantastic. Gotta get a good piece right there. Mm -mm. That's a good brownie. That's a really good brownie, actually. It does taste like a cosmic brownie, but that's not a bad thing. Because cosmic brownies will always be the best brownies of the world. Alright, this right here, I forget what exactly she said it was, but I don't care. Cause it be looking good. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that word because come on, I'm not gonna kill. Just like get a like, get a good look at that. Like if it'll yep, there it is. That's interesting. That's like a fluffy, like marshmallowy texture. It's really good. It's not too sweet. You know what? Maybe next time I come here, I might just have to request this and this alone. Well, it's time to say goodnight to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I have been here for a total of 14 hours. Yeah, over 14 hours. That's nuts. Honestly, I am glad that I got to come out here today for a rope drop. I did pretty much all of the main attractions. The only two I didn't go on were Triceratops Spin and Cali River Rapids. Triceratops Spin, not too worried about, literally. Been on Dumbo, Magic Carpets. I've been on Triceratops Spin before. I think maybe 2019 I went on it and possibly filmed it. I don't really remember. But Cali River Rapids, I haven't been on since maybe 2017. I don't really have a knack for the water rides as much as I did in the past. Yeah, I mean, if y'all want me to go on any of the water rides on Disney property in the future, just let me know down in the comments. But all in all, today was a successful day, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail right now. So uh, let's just head home and we'll give a brief little review of our day. All right. We're back home. Let's give a little recap on our day at Animal Kingdom. Rope dropping. Is it worth it? Well, unfortunately, if you don't plan on going on Flight of Passage first thing and you're not a resort guest, 
then it's not worth it. Um, I waited maybe 80 minutes or so, which isn't really bad even by today's standards, given that Pandora has been open for five years now. But if you're a resort guest, by all means do it, okay? You get that early access, even though it's only by a half hour, it makes sense. And then the Tusker house. Now, they are still doing family style. They're not back to a full buffet just yet. I'm hoping by at least summertime that the buffet will be back because they definitely have one of the best buffets on property. I almost said best buffets. Buffets? Is that even a word? I don't know. We'll make it a word. Character dining wise, fun as usual. Glad I got to meet the characters. Glad I got to get some cool thumbnails, which you'll be seeing. Well, you guys have already seen the thumbnail. Oh, and before I forget, the 60 frames, I'm sure you guys immediately noticed that by watching this video. So, I am in the process of getting a new camera. It's probably not going to happen until at least the end of the summer, maybe midsummer if I'm lucky. Um, but I'm trying to see if I prefer shooting in 60 frames, especially with the wider angle, because if you watch my my vlogs back in like 2019 2020 when I had the G7X I mean I still have it it's where is it it's right here it's just put away because I mean I rarely use it I mean look at the freaking screen like I literally dropped this <laughs> in the Hollywood Studios entrance yeah like early 2020 like right before we closed oh man I was I was so upset about that but anyways I used to film in 60 frames with that but then when I got the 90d I started with 30 frames then went down to 24 frames because I like the more cinematic look of the vlogs but I think now I definitely want to try and move my way back into 60 frames and given the fact that the camera that I want shoots 4K 60 raw, I thought, why not do a little experiment to start? So, as you can tell, it is morning, so I'm gonna enjoy my day by editing this video. <laughs> so, if you all enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Love you all so much. Take it easy and stay beautiful, my friends.